Babe, what's up now? Fine. How are you doing? Where are you coming from? Actually, it's okay. I just came back from my friend's place. Oh, God. This is started to Ah, ah. Hey. Did you see her in church today? Ah, that she was carrying my coffin down. Hey, God. Hey. See what she's doing. Do you know go see for this life? You call it star. One more. Now, wow. Who's that guy? Who's that guy? I mean, I'm one of our boys for streets now. We cannot know. So all people this don't ones. get plenty of boyfriends. Right? Yeah, now. See our outfits. All this one. You just see now. So you can see them for church. When you now see them outside, you need to. Now before me, Oli Oli. Yeah. I say now we be the ones we know. God have mercy. We team no go see on that. We team no go see you. Yeah. Um, I wanted to ask. I guess we all just saw that disturbing thing here. Yeah? What do you all think about appearance? Well, from what I saw, from what I saw, that was I feel like it's it's a judgmental thing they did there by the fact that you know, they just put this basis on the way she was dressed, they totally concluded that she was not right for the church. And most times based on people's appearance, we just don't give them a chance to even to know them or know what they are or who they are. I mean, you just judge on their appearance, and I feel that's quite bad from what they did there. What do you think? Um, many feel like many feel like Christianity has specific kind of appearances, like Christians have specific kind of appearances, and to me, I don't think we should act so, as such because Christians know as uh, we christians know how we are to appear we know what is right before god and we know what to do. but judging each judging ourselves because of how we look or how we appear is just not right i don't know what do you think about it it's even but trusting the point there are many things that we christians do today that actually affects those that are coming into the system now for someone like an unbeliever passing by and saw that kind of thing it will look somehow that and they are Christians. Mm. So looking at this, they are meant to like have this self-consciousness that even though they saw this, the gossip should be the thing. Mm. They should just like talk to her, ask her why. Instead of just instead of just what do you think? Well, people usually just don't look at to just look at people and they just give a bad first impression of them, which is not true because when you because when you look at the person you don't know what that person is going through you don't know why the reason why that person looks that way so judging people just because you see them appearing that way is very wrong especially from a christian perspective we are supposed to accept all people so, yeah. okay, so um all your views here everyone comes from different angles i guess those are all important angles that we need to look at in this matter of judgment so um phoebe i'd like to ask what did you think like what aspect of judgment do you think like it's really important for people to understand and what do you think about it just want to know your view on judgment okay um through experiences i've realized that people are fond of judging each and every one of themselves based on their situations and circumstances and even in christianity in any other religion we all as human beings make mistakes it is bound to happen the characteristics the characteristics sorry of humans to make mistakes so everybody is bound to have a challenge everybody is bound to have a problem at one point in time in life and somehow somewhere in bible the bible says why do you look at the speck in your brother's eye instead of focusing on the plank in your own eye what that scripture is saying is in both eyes something is there that means there is a challenge in everybody's life just that sometimes one is bigger than the other Good. yeah so we all make mistakes and also we are told in the bible that we should judge not or will be judged we are all placed under God's judgment. Everybody is equal before him. So you can't place your actions higher than someone's, someone else's actions or judge their actions because of the situation they are in or judge somewhat. You can't just do that. It is not right before the sight of God and even on normal basis. It's very wrong. 
it could put the person off or it could do something else. Also, I want to pull up Matthew chapter 26, verse 52. Um, the Bible says, when Jesus, when Jesus was with um, the um, Judas Iscariot, yes, Judas Iscariot came in with the soldiers to arrest Jesus, and Jesus was like, put back your sword. They wanted to attack the soldiers coming with Judas. And Jesus said, put down your sword. And he said, for all who draw the sword, they will die by the sword. I put to everyone who think that he meant like, don't attack. Actually, it means don't judge. Put back your sword. Return it. Don't judge. Because if you judge, he said, for all who draw the sword will die by the sword. If you judge, you will die by judgment. That's what he meant there. He didn't exactly mean like real physical sword, like something like that. So we have to judge. We have to allow God do the work and not do his work for him. God's work. God is our judge. He's our judge. He's the overall judge, not us. So we have to learn how to do what is right by not judging ourselves based on our circumstances or situations. So, yeah, you spoke a lot about um, situation, judging business. Can I just get like one example, just one example of judging based on situation? Okay. So I, I as a Christian, I pray a lot. And people have this mindset that we Christians, we bound to have um, good luck. We are bound to be blessed because we, uh, according to them, we claim that God is overall over all powers, is greater than. We as Christians know it is true that God's power is greater than any other power. But in a circumstance where you have a terrible situation, you have been praying for something. Let's say you have been praying for financial breakthrough now, and all of a sudden, you are the poorest amongst your peers. They see it as this, but you claim that your father has the greatest power. Why are you still poor? They ask questions like that. Their, minds, my, their mindset is bent on, you must, in fact, as you're a Christian, you are rich. You're a Christian, you are blessed. You can't lose anybody. You can't, nothing bad should be happening to you. You are bound to face good. Meanwhile, they forget that every human being on earth faces challenges. Whether Christian or unbeliever, I love that example a lot because it reminds me of when um, Pastor E. Adeboye's son died. At that point, so many people were saying things like, Has he sinned? Did he do something that made God take his son away? People tend to judge based on situations and things that happen, forgetting that there are things that occur, and there's nothing that occurs that God doesn't allow. And for everything that happens, he has a reason, and he knows why. He said he knows the beginning from the end, and the end from the beginning. So he knows why he allowed that. That's a beautiful one. I love that. So, um, they come. I would like to know your views on judgment. Well, I like to start with this because um, I feel like it's a on that talk to topic. So. Um, there's something I call be, be, um, judging people based on spirituality level. I don't know if you grab. Ah, yeah. I'm on this spiritual level, and you're on this spiritual level. There's this judgment that comes between we Christians. Imagine I pray for 10 hours, and you pray for, not like 10 hours, but like you pray this long, or you do this, you do that, or you understand this scripture of the Bible, and I, and I don't understand. It. Yeah. Naturally, you just feel you're better, uh, you're better than the person. Like, you have no fault, like... You're the, you're the word above the other person. I feel like it's very, very wrong because everybody has a journey, everybody has a stage. You didn't know everything the first day you gave your life to Christ. And we all fall victim of these Christians. I, I am a victim of this. Some of, some of us are a very big, big victim of this. So a lot of us, we just see that this person is praying five hours. So the person is not praying at all and is a Christian. And you literally just say, this person, God is not with the person. Or God is with you more than the person. I feel like it's a very, very, very wrong mentality. And the Bible says, do not compare because comparison brings about pride. Because it is better for someone to be better than you than for you to believe that you are better than everybody. So because you're on this spiritual level, you now feel everybody that is not doing that because I felt a victim of that. And I learned my lesson during this January. I got to, I felt like I was on a very, very high spiritual level. I felt that when I got to, just, just to read my Bible, stuff like that. Funny how I got into sin. 
I got into masturbation with all this YouTube thing, and it was so funny because I was like, God, how is this happening to me that I feel like I've overcome this? And it was just like a process of learning that we as Christians, no matter how far we go, we should understand that it's just this far from this far before we fall back to the starting point. We should always understand that our spirituality level shouldn't cause judgments between each other. And if you want to tell someone that's falling as a Christian, tell the person humbly, not that you're saying, um, I'm better than you. You come to the person calmly. Hey guy, you're not praying. Hey guy, you're not doing this. Hey girl, I've, I've been seeing you doing this, do that. I feel like you should do this, do that, and all of that. So, also, there's also one trivial topic. I would love to start with an example. So, there was this before I gave my life to Christ, I think last year, August or so. So, there was this girl I was trying to get with her friend, I, I was trying to toast her and all. So the, she was a Christian, her friend was a Christian, so she would always come to the girl and be like, um, guy, like, she should leave me alone, like, she should just cut me out, she should leave me out of the picture, like, I had bad intentions. Loki had bad intentions, but I was like, you didn't even get to know me, you're already telling this girl she shouldn't roll with me and all of that. I felt so bad that this girl didn't give me a chance to even explain myself, to show my character, before she started passing judgment on me that I was so terribly bad. To us. So I feel like the way we accept believers as Christians is very, very important. Because when a believer comes to your circle and you guys accept the person, it makes the person feel it's worth it, it's not so lost. Because we forget the fact that so many people want this Jesus of ours, but they don't know how to. You always think that everybody's like, they don't want this Jesus thing. They might not be living right, but I know there was so much times in my life where I wanted Jesus, but I didn't know how to get him. Imagine there was a believer that was willing to hug me, tell me this is this, this is that, without making me feel stupid, without making me feel less about myself, without making me feel like he knows everything and I'm nowhere. So I feel like we underjudge that and we just make people feel this thing. I feel like the way we receive unbelievers is very, very, very key to preaching the gospel because most people don't read their Bible, they'll read you and how you accept them. And don't be a factor why so many people wouldn't want to believe in God. So that's one aspect of judgment I feel that is under talked about and should be very much addressed. Thank you. So um, I love that. That's really those are two very important things. Most times the there are topics that people always forget about when they talk about judgment. They just think it's the basic stuff, but people don't really look into these things. They don't really need to this thing so much. So yeah, that's a nice one too. So, um, Wale, what are your views 